Hello everyone, this is Adrian with DoorDot78. I'll be your instructor today as we do our 30 minute tutorial. Now this 30 minute tutorial is going to be a painting of a lady in the rain with a red umbrella. Somewhat of an impressionist painting, but let's get started. So we're going to go ahead with the colors we have there. We got a red, we have a gray got the black there also the white and we're going to start off with our one inch flat brush as usual all the materials will be down there in the description so you can go ahead and check that out to make sure you have everything and we're going to take that flat brush get it wet in our little jar of water we don't want it dripping wet so we'll dry it off there on the rag now what we're going to do is double load this brush so first we're going to load one side with the gray paint and the other side with our white paint. And this is to do our background. Uh, as you can see, our canvas is in portrait mode. That means it's the, it's the tall way and not the, the long way. And what I'm doing here with our brush or with the flat brush is I'm just making light strokes. Light strokes um, slanted so in a slanted um, type of pattern across the canvas and I'm just doing that with that white and that gray mix and as you notice I'm not getting total coverage but I am getting um, maximum coverage at least on the edges I wanted to keep the middle part uh, fairly light because that's where we're going to get um, our lady there and uh, we want that kind of light so that your eye will um, focus towards the middle of the canvas so to help out with that process I just went on ahead and picked up a big glob of white on my brush and now in those areas that I want to lighten up I'm just lightly hitting those areas with white paint and I'm being very generous with this paint because I'm not really trying to make the 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 uh, background colors blend together I really want that white to sit on top of the gray that we put there. So be very generous with that white paint. All right. And so now just with a very light stroke, light brush stroke, I'm just going ahead and putting that white paint in there. And I'm leaving that middle area nice and light with the white paint, nice and bright. So now that you've got that background put in there, Go ahead and clean that large flat brush off, dry it, put it away, right? We'll come back to that brush a little bit later. Now, what we're going to do is dry this background. Now, there's many different ways to dry your background. I just like to use a blow dryer because it's nice and quick. Um, you could use whatever you, you feel free of, a fan. You could take it off the canvas and wave it in the air. Wave it like you just don't care, <laughs> you know, whatever it takes, but we just want to get that background nice and dry. So while we're drying our canvas, I want to take this opportunity to thank everyone that has been coming and looking at our 30 minute tutorials. Hope you've been having a good time and um, please share, like, and if you haven't already, subscribe to our channel so that you could get these 30 minute tutorials every Wednesday. Because remember, painting, art is a necessity. We want to relax, we want to keep calm, and just paint. So right now, I went on ahead and I grabbed my filbert brush. All right, that's our medium filbert brush there. Um, and got it wet a little bit and then got the excess water off on our rag there. And now we're going to use this brush uh, to start to sketch out the shape for our lady. And the first thing we're going to do is do her dress. So load that brush up with black paint. And we're going to start um, towards the middle of the canvas there. And as you see, I'm just drawing a line straight across at the top of the canvas. That's what we want to do first. Just a, a straight line. And then from that line, we're going to come down on the on each end 
On the each end, we're going to bring it down just a tad bit. All right. So we're kind of, it's kind of like we're making a rectangle at first, but we're not putting the bottom on it. So that's the shape that we're going with. We're going with that, that uh, flat top. Then we're going to bring the sides down. And now as I brought those sides down, like we started the rectangle, but we didn't put the bottom on it. Now I'm taking those points and I'm bringing it down into a point like it's a triangle. All right. But I'm not going to close that triangle off. We're just going to make a triangle. And then before we close it, we're just going to bring those points and those edges all the way down to the canvas. And now you can see that dress just come, come to life now. And that's what we want to do. We just want to take our brush and we just want to do multiple strokes. Um, that's part of getting an impressionist painting out. It's a bunch of brush strokes that in the end turns out to be an impression of uh, what the art um, should be. Um, so right now we're just putting those brush strokes in to make that dress. So we're going to go ahead and fill in the bottom of that dress with multiple brush strokes. Now, as, as always, um, at this point, if you need to, you could go ahead and pause this video, um, catch up with these steps, and then come back to it. Now would be a good time to do that because all we're doing now is just filling in uh, with those, those multiple brush strokes, filling in the bottom of that dress. And then we're going to go ahead and do the top part of the dress as well. So just go ahead and get those strokes in there. Now the type of dress that I made here is one of those dresses. I don't even know what, what it's called, but it's where the sleeves uh, kind of come off the shoulder a little bit. So it exposes the shoulder. And then um, it exposes the arms as well. So that's the dress I chose. But that's just me. That, that's, the, that's the dress I thought about doing today. So, you know, you, you do whatever dress you like to do. Like I always say, I'm just teaching technique. I want you to be as creative as possible. So you may not want her to have that type of dress. You might want her to have a dress with a strap on it. You might want her to have a black dress. You might want her dress to match her umbrella. It's up to you. I'm just teaching technique. I want you to please be creative. So now I've gone ahead and filled in the top part of the dress. And I'm just going to keep putting those brush strokes in. Different brush strokes, small brush strokes as we go into the dress. Now I decided to add some white brush strokes as well. So I put white on my brush and I'm hitting the area at the bottom of the, of the dress with those white brush strokes. And what I'm doing is just layering this paint on top of each other. And what that is doing is not only giving it texture, but it's also um, making it so that the lines are not so sharp and so defined because that's not what we're going for in this painting. We're not going for that. We're actually trying to go for um, the effect of maybe if you look at something and you squint your eyes and that's what you see. That's kind of what we're going for in this painting. So it's very important to get those multiple layers and those brush strokes. Okay. And this this could be with whatever color you want. As a matter of fact, it could be a multi multi-color dress. It's up to you. It could be a short dress, it could be a long dress. Like I said, this is your painting. I'm just showing you the techniques, all right? So go ahead and paint that dress on in. And again, we're using that Filbert brush. I was gonna make the dress shorter at this point, but then I went on ahead and decided to Take the dress all the way off the bottom of the canvas. And uh, that's what you could do when you're, when you're an artist. You could go ahead and make adjustments as you go along. So um, 
Feel free to just paint with your heart. Artists, they use their heart a lot. So if you're painting and all of a sudden you feel like, you know what? I want to change this dress up a little bit. Go ahead and do that. That's totally okay. And as you're going to see later on in the painting, I'm going to change this dress another time. <laughs> I don't know. I, I was feeling one thing, and then the next thing you know, I wasn't feeling that. And then I, I was feeling it again. So, hey, that happens. That happens once you get deep into your painting. So just, hey, follow the process. Just enjoy yourself. Just relax and get to painting. That's all we want you to do, okay? All right. So we got those multiple brush strokes going on there. And as you can see, we got the dress. We have our dress there. All right. So once you're done with your dress, you want to go ahead and take that fuber brush, dry it, uh, clean it first, <laughs> clean it, then dry it. All right. Put that over to the, to the, uh, to the side now earlier i forgot to put on my palette the brown paint so that's what you were seeing me put there you saw me putting some brown paint there now that brown was a, a tad bit dark for what i wanted so i just mixed it with a, a bit of white because now what we're doing is the skin tone and remember the type of dress i told you i was making so we're not only going to see her arms, but we're going to see her shoulders, too, and her back. So um, that's what I'm doing. I'm just mixing up a little brown and white to get the skin tone there. And again, with this painting, we're not worried about sharp, detailed edges. So just go ahead and, and kind of sketch in there her arms. Now, remember, her arms is, is, is holding, her hands is holding an umbrella, so her arms are going to be bent. So instead of putting her arms all the way down to the side, we'll just make kind of like um, J's or U's there um, for her arms. Right up under that little T area where it will be the top of her dress. Right. And then right above that, we're just going to give her some shoulders. All right. So we'll... We'll line it up right above that top of the dress. And we'll kind of bring up some of that brown paint up across the top of the dress. Now, this is the part I was talking about where um, I was feeling the dress at first one way. Then I decided to change it up. And so I just decided to now at this point um, give her a dress that had most of her back out. <laughs> so... That's what I was doing there. Went on ahead and put the skin tone more into a V shape in the back of the dress. And again, it's just multiple brush strokes. Multiple brush strokes. That's all we're doing. And you can pretty much see that all coming together. So we got her shoulders. We got her arms bent there. And um, we opened up the back of the dress. So I went on ahead and I cleaned that brown off of the filbert brush, dried it. And now I'm taking my filbert brush because I'm going to do the hair now. And since her hair is so big, I'm, I'm not going to uh, go ahead and, and give her a neck. <laughs> you won't see her neck for how big her hair is. I'm just going to go ahead and do the hair. Right? So right here, I'm just doing a few little touch-ups um, on her dress, trying to make the dress look uh, look about as uh, as even as it can look. Actually, I was giving her just a tad bit too much detail um, at this point, but for some reason, that dress part was just bothering me, and that happens. That happens. So. Um, Feel free to just go in and, and make whatever adjustments you feel like you would like to make. So, that's what I'm doing there. All right. I think that's about right. 
So now I still got that black paint on my filbert brush. Now it's time to do the hair. So I just gave her a, a very natural curly um, hair style. And that's just taking that filbert brush and just doing like multiple wavy or curvy strokes with that brush in somewhat of a circular pattern. And as you can see, I, I took the, the brush and I dipped that black paint down over her back just a little bit because that will show that her hair is pretty, um, pretty long there and it's covering some of her back. And now with that, you don't need a neck. <laughs> well, she has a neck, but, you know, we don't see it. And again, we're not, we're not giving too much attention to detail, just multiple short brush strokes. And now we got the hair in there. All right. So take your brush, clean it, dry it. And our next step is we're going to put in her umbrella. Now, for me, for some reason, I just love these paintings where they have umbrellas and it's a red umbrella with darker colors around it. I don't know. For some reason, just that red umbrella, uh, it just stands out to me. I love it. But if you like a different color, then you definitely go with a different color. So what I did is I started off first with a line down the middle above her head. And I did that so that I could pretty much make the umbrella even on both sides. And then it helps me to put the ribs in at the bottom. So you just draw a frown over the top of that line. And then for the ribs, you just draw multiple frowns underneath. Starting at each point and connecting. And then once you get the shape of that umbrella in, just go ahead and fill it in with the red paint. Just go ahead and fill that in. And this is going to be our base coat, our base color for the paint. All right. Because we're going to add a little bit of white to this as well. And what that white is going to do is going to give us the effect that not only is the rain, br the rain brush. <laughs> well, I tell you, every time I do these tutorials, I make up new words. But <laughs> not only is the umbrella wet. But it's also going to give the effect of um, that cloudy effect or that fuzzy effect, that impressionistic effect that we're going to do once we add this white paint to it. So just go ahead and fill that in. Fill that in with the red paint. And now I'm adding the white to it. And I'm just doing little small brush strokes. And I'm not putting this white over the entire, over the entire umbrella. I'm just putting it. You know, in areas where I feel like I, I want the white to go. Um, particularly more lighter on one edge. Just to show maybe like some light. A light source there or that is, is more wet on one side. But we're just doing those multiple small brush strokes there. So again, everyone, please. Uh, if you haven't already, subscribe to our channel. Um, like this video and share this video with your friends and family so that they too can just stay calm and paint. Painting is so much fun and so relaxing and I'm sure they will enjoy this painting. So now that I got the white paint mixed in there with our, with our, uh, our red and our umbrella, now I'm going to add some white to her back and to her arms. And that's for the same effect that we're doing with the umbrella. Just multiple short strokes. Multiple short strokes. All right. And that's just layering that paint on there. Helping us to kind of um, cloudy this painting up a little bit. Because right now the edges are a little bit too sharp. We don't want real sharp edges. And just layering those different colors. Uh, layering those two colors on top of each other kind of gives it that effect that we want it to have. All right? And so I just did that on the arms and on the back, wherever the skin tone was at. All right? And as you can see, that softened up those edges and those brush strokes kind of uh, 
uh, stood out there, and that's what we want. That's what we want. We don't want real sharp edges. We want the brush strokes to be shown. That's what we're doing here. That's what we're trying to accomplish. So at this point, if you need to pause, go ahead and pause the video and then come back. So now I'm doing the same thing with her dress that I did with the umbrella and her skin tone. I'm just layering a small amount of white on top of the black. And what that is doing, again, is giving it highlights. It's giving it dimension. But it's also softening those rough edges. We kind of want to give it the appearance that we're watching her through a window um, during the rain. So when you watch someone through the window, even though the window is clean because of the rain, probably because of the, the condensation, it gets a tablet a tad bit <laughs> blurry so that's what we're going for here so again just multiple short brush strokes almost just tapping that brush in certain areas and again we want our brush stroke to show so you see how the the brush stroke actually covered over or came over um the line there towards the bottom left and we want that that's how we want it to be So now just, again, just putting more layers of that white on top of the, on top of that dress. And look at the dimensions it's given to that dress. Look at the character it's given to it. And it's just softening it up. Making the edges not so rough. And that's what we want. That's how we want this painting to come out. You know, it's funny because um, when Impressionist painting first was, um, I wouldn't say invented, but it first became a trend. Um, that's the exact, that was the exact thing that um, the other artists were saying. Um, there was an artist by the name of Monet. He put his art in the gallery. And the other artists were complaining, saying that his work was incomplete. And one of the, the other artists, he made the expression, he said, you know, this, that, that's not, that's not art. That's not a sunset. That's an impression of a sunset. And so Monet, he took it and ran with it. He said, yeah, I'm an impressionist. And so that's where this style of art, this style of painting come from. So this is not a total impressionist uh, point of view, but you, you could put this in that category. So as you can see, I did the same thing with her hair that we did with the dress in the back and the umbrella. Just added layers of white and then added layers of black on top of it just to give it that effect. So now I'm cleaning out that filbert brush, getting it nice and clean. I'm drying it, All right? Uh, just gonna take that, that um, brush and I put some more red on my, on my uh, brush there. And again, just adding more layers to it, softening up those rough edges, just multiple brush strokes. That's it. That's all we're doing there. Just keep those brush strokes nice and loose and nice and soft. And look at the effect that it gave to that umbrella. That umbrella looks really nice. Then again, I'm layering some more white. You know, just keep layering until you feel like it's just, I mean, you, you, you just want it to, you just want to feel good about it. You know, you want to feel really good about this painting. And um, that's what we got going here. All right. Very nice. So go ahead and clean that filbert brush out, dry it. All right, and now let's go ahead with our black paint. Now with this paint, I'm just going to take my brush and I'm just gonna tap a line right up under the umbrella, right above her head, 
and then tap another little small line at the top and that's how i made the umbrella the rod as well as the little point at the top of the umbrella and that's all i did and so now i'll go ahead and i'm cleaning that brush once again so let's go ahead and clean it and dry it and put that off to the side for right now so now i want to put in the rain and to do the rain, we're going to do it with two steps. The first step is with my toothbrush. So I took an old toothbrush, wet it, get it nice and wet, and dip it in the white paint. Now we want that paint to be a bit loose because we want it to be able to spray, so to speak, or splatter onto our canvas. So what you do is you take that toothbrush with the white paint and you just flick the bristles of that brush all over the canvas. Now look at that. Now we got those little white splashes that we could just call like raindrops or drops of water. And we just covered it all over the canvas. Put as much of it as you want. Um, as little as you want is totally up to you. Now after you've done that step, clean your toothbrush and pick up your putty knife or your painter's knife. And we're just going to get a line of white paint on our knife. And all we're doing is just tapping these lines onto the canvas in a slanted motion. Now, I did it slanted because I, I like when the rain looks more dramatic that way when it's falling down on a slant. But you could totally just have the lines going straight down. And again, this is just touching that knife against the canvas. You get a nice little roll of white on the knife and just, just touch it. In different spots on the canvas and this is one of those parts where again i wish you just close your eyes and just do it but <laughs> don't close your eyes y'all <laughs> don't do that but try not to put everything in a row like try to just put it at random places so wherever your eye hits first go ahead and drop that knife down and drop those lines those raindrops falling on that canvas and put as many raindrops as you want. It's totally up to you. All right. We're just going to make this a nice, nice rainy scene. Okay. Very nice. We're almost done, you all. Your masterpieces are almost complete. So, at this point, I looked at it and I thought, you know, this, this seems pretty nice. This seems pretty good. So... I was going to stop, but then the back of this dress just started bugging me again. So I took my putty knife and I tried to just straighten out the line a little bit more for the dress. Make it look, you know, like, I don't know. It just didn't look complete to me. It looked a little off. And so that's what I'm doing with the putty knife. Just trying to get that line a little sharper there than I had it before now again this is just something I was doing because you know as you're painting sometimes your mind say okay that's good then sometimes it don't and you just want to go in there and fix so today I was obsessing over that dress so <laughs> um, you don't have to follow this part if you don't want to but hey just to show you how things could change while you're working so I looked at it and I thought, hmm, that looks pretty good. Pretty nice. Um, and I just kept working with that, kept working with the back of that dress. So this is a lesson for you all. Sometimes you just got to know when to put the brush down, when to just step away from the painting, okay? Because looking at it now, it looks pretty nice. And I thought it was good, but then I still wasn't happy with it. <laughs> so I went on ahead and I grabbed my large flat brush. <laughs> and um, I said, you know what? Let me just go back to my original plan. And so that's what I did. I just took that brush, went on ahead and closed the back out. And then uh, just didn't have her back exposed. 
So this is just to show you that you could change it up. You can make alterations. You can make it yours however you want. You know, it's totally up to you. It's different ways of changing it. That's the good thing about um, acrylic paint. It's so forgiving. If you want to change something, just take the paint and cover right over it. That's it. And so now I was finally happy with the painting. And um, there, there she go. There go our lady with the red umbrella and uh, hope you like this painting looks good to me how does it look to you <laughs> all right very nice So just do some touch-ups wherever you, you you feel like you might want to do some. And um, again, everybody, sometimes you got to learn just to step away from the painting. So here I'm just putting in a few more little brush strokes in there just to add a few other details to her dress, add some few pleats to it. And so at that point, I said, you know what? I think it's complete now. I think I'm satisfied with this painting. Yep, that's it. <laughs> so hope you all enjoyed this tutorial. Please um, continue to paint with us. We enjoy having you. Um, if you like this tutorial, come back every week for another tutorial. Every Wednesday we'll have them up. So like, subscribe, share. We want to thank you all so very much. This is Agent with Door.78. And until next time, see you all.